What's going on guys, so Aussie here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have the 92 overall summer heat card Sar. Now I absolutely loved his foot birthday. I cannot believe how good it was when I used him in foot champs. And I'm pretty, pretty happy that he has a 92 version now. He's got 87 pace, 86 dribbling, 91 defending, 94 physical with 86 passing. Now he is 6 foot. I tend to go 6 foot 2 minimum, but at the same time, a 6 foot player in centre back could be outrageous if they have the right stats. He has got low high work rates. For me, I like medium high, low high, not going to matter too much either way. Two star skill moves, you don't do skill moves with your, with your centre backs, so that's not going to matter, but the four star weak foot is. I honestly only go for three star minimum in my team. I hate, I hate people with two star. You don't understand. When I cut onto that left or right foot and it's a two star weak foot, I am so scared when passing with it. But anyway, he is on a anchor chem style. He is on 10 chem. 93 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Insanely fast for his centre back. Now, I'm not even going to get into his shooting stats because they're an absolute disgrace. So let's all be fair. Well, passing wise, he looks like an absolute beast. 79 vision, 86 crossing, 74 free kick accuracy, 93 short passing, 87 long passing, and 75 curve. Now, the one thing I do want to try out is can he do the overtop through balls from the centre back position all the way down to the winger? He has got 96 agility, 96 agility on a six foot center back is something i have not seen for a very very long time he has got the 91 balance the 95 reactions the 87 ball control the 80 dribbling and the 99 composure now i do not feel like he's gonna actually feel like uh 96 agility because he's got 80 dribbling and i can't remember who it i can't remember who it was but they had very, very high agility. There was a centre-back. He had very high agility. But the dribbling stat was so, so low. And he felt nothing like what he said on the card. But the composure, the ball control, the reactions look absolutely like stupid. Honestly. 96 interceptions, 97 heading accuracy, 98 defensive awareness. 99 standing tackling with the 99 sliding tackling. Now, as I said previously, I absolutely loved his foot birthday for just going in for tackles. He came out of it every single time. And the fact that they even, they even upgraded it a bit more is just going to make him, you know, one of the... He could potentially be one of the best centre-backs in this game. We're going to see how it goes. He has got the 99 jumping, the 97 heading accuracy, him being 6 foot. I will be trying those little cheeky near post headers off corners. He has got 91 stamina, 99 strength with the 94 aggression. Do I really have to say anything else? Really? Come on now. Now, today I have linked him up with Lala and Cyprian. I've also got Alexa, Tostegan, Militao and Ndombele in this team. It doesn't matter what formation, as long as it's, it, as long as it's a four at the back. And it is, it's the 4-4-2. But let's get in. Okay, so let's test this agility. I want to see if it actually feels like it. Okay, yeah, you can tell. You can honestly tell he's not going to feel amazing. That 80 dribbling is really, really effective. Just going to track that. Can I go in? There you go. Just shield him off. Shield him off. You're not going to get past him. You're not going to get past him. Bulky body plus that much strength. You're never going to get past Saar. He's actually made a little run here. That's nice turning and a really good pass. Nice. Really good defending from him. I love his defensive awareness there. He realized that the guy was running in behind. So he just moved over to cut the passing lane. Uh, have him 1v1. Really good tackle. That was terrible defending from me. I, I realized that. So I was like, ah. It's not great. It's probably not going to end up great. It's probably, probably going to concede because I've pushed him out in a really bad position. But my, what my opponent did not do great. And Saar does put in a very strong tackle. Saar so push out. There you go. Straight in. He's a very aggressive centre back. That is something I have realised. You don't need to stay back and wait for the perfect time to go in for the tackle. You can honestly run at the player. Saar so, testing out his pace here. There you go. That is perfect. Oh, that is nice as well. The transition. Acting like I did get sent there. Then the recovery is unbelievable. Go on, Saar. Be very aggressive. Oh, a tackle from behind does end up meaning he's going to give away a free kick. But I like his aggression. Even though I did kind of run him out a little bit. I love his aggression there. Nice. Really good from Saar. He realized that his centre-back partner was out of position and he actually pushed over to cut that passing lane. I believe that is the second time he's done that now. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try an overtop through ball all the way down the line and it is a perfect pass. 
be a bit aggressive. There you go. Be just a little bit of aggression coming into play there. Not, not too aggressive because you're going to just end up running straight past him. But what I did there was I pushed him out a little bit, made him auto lock onto the ball and look at the tackle. He's coming, he's coming out of it, I would say 10 out of 10 times. Go on, sir. He's going to pass up, wait for the perfect moment and just go in straight for the tackle. So we have got a corner here and let's see what we can do with him. He's got the jumping ability. He's got the heading ability. Come on, sir. Show us what you can do. He's going to get up there. Oh, he gets out headed by Bakiyoku. Really? So on the ball here, we are going to run forward with him a little bit. Fake shot. Turning ability, shield off. You see what I mean about his agility? Not great. Not great at all. And it is because of that dribbling stat. Let's try this over top through ball once again. He is wide open, to be fair to him. Can he do it? Not a greatest pass. I believe it's because of his vision. If his vision was a bit higher, he would have actually put that in front. Come on, Robert Firmino. Let's have a 1v1. Let's go. Let's go. You want to go, Robert Firmino? You can go because you're not getting past Sot. Press that a little bit. There you go. You need to make sure you press that in that occasion simply because it's around the 3v2 there. And if you press really, really well, especially with Sot, you're going to instantly get the ball. Pretty much a 1v1 here with Mateus. Just waiting, exactly waiting for the perfect moment there. Just to go in and get that ball. Unbelievable from Saar. So it is time to review him. And I must say, this card is absolutely unbelievable. We did play two games with him. We did not score a goal, which is obviously going to be disappointing. But at the end of the day, when he's losing headers to back of Yoku, you kind of have to double think in a minute. But he has got one yellow card, which we are not going to talk about. Anyway, six foot. He did not win headers over like people like Virgil van Dijk, Bakayoko, Suzoko. So obviously keep that in mind. He's not going to be an amazing out, an amazing header. But at the same time, he's going to be a person that's going to be able to have that intercept, interception reach and tackle reach. Now, work rates are literally perfect. You do medium high, low high, same thing pretty much. Full star weak foot was really, really nice. I could pass with both feet, but the only problem was I can't long pass because of that 79 vision. Pace-wise, I honestly would give his pace a 9 out of 10. I don't believe he's up there with like a par and stuff like that. But he is definitely, definitely a faster centre-back. Passing-wise, he is really, really nice to be fair when passing. Short passing-wise. But when it comes down to long passing, not the greatest. But I am going to obviously answer the question. Is he worth doing the SBC? For me, 100%. If you can't really fit him in your team, you can honestly put this card at right back. You can put him at left back. You can put him as a super sub. Use this card somehow, some way. Because he is not, he is no joke. He's absolutely ridiculous. But yes, he is worth it. Who would I compare him to? Upper Makana. I would definitely, definitely compare him to Oppo Makano. I believe he is also better than Oppo Makano simply because Saw feels much better on the ball. Now, dribbling-wise, he's he feels good on the ball, but he doesn't feel outrageous. It's the dribbling. It honestly is. If the 80 dribbling was like 90, then you could obviously see the 96 agility come into play. But because it's not, you can't really see it too much. Now, I love his transition when moving left to right. I love his reaction speed towards it. And his ball control was really, really nice as well. So I am going to give his dribbling stats, I would say, an 8.5 out of 10. Defensive stats, 10 out of 10, no doubt. One of the best tacklers I have actually seen in this game. You go in with him, you're coming out of the ball, no doubt. 94 aggression obviously helps with that, but the standing tackling being 99, the slide tackling being 99. Defensive awareness, one of the best defensive awareness players I've ever seen in this game. He was tracking runs. He was reading the lanes. He was pretty much doing it all in a centre-back position. Physicals, 10 out of 10 as well. I could not believe how good this card really was when it came down to aggression, strength, jumping, as I said, not the greatest, but stamina wise, he's got more than enough, especially for a center back. So I am going to give him a rating out of 10. He is going to be, I would say, a 9.5 out of 10 player. The reason I'm giving him a 9.5 and not like a 10 out of 10 is I believe the dribbling is a t is, it's a sticky one, I must say. It's a sticky one. The dribbling is not great, and the vision could have been better. If the vision was better and he was able to do those consistent through balls down the line, you could be potentially looking at a 10 out of 10 player. But at the same time, dribbling still slacks. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.